So, looks like they call you the False Shepherd. And you the Lamb. Let's not call each other that. Suits me. How do you figure they'd know you'd be coming? Either they've got a prophet on their side. Har har. Or them that hired me also wrote the signs. Why? Got me. was time, Mr. DeWitt. Time to study things like geography. I owed money. And there's a fellow who... He offered to wipe away my debt in exchange for you. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. Everything's gonna be okay. Will you just turn around and talk to me and we can... <laughs>
Cash here did the trick. This one's awake. So you're this false shepherd we've been hearing so much about. Caused a mess of trouble at the raffle. You Fitzroy? Nothing but. I got no quarrel with you or your Vox Populi. This is my airship you're hanging me out of, and I got perilous need of it. Really? Because it sure look like old Comstock's airship to Listen, me. I ain't looking for a fight. There's already a fight to win. Only question is, which side you on? Comstock is the god of the white man, the rich man, the pitiless man. But if you believe in common folk, then join the Vox. If you believe in the righteous folk, then join the Vox. I just want my ship. And the Vox shall give her to you. But first, you must help the Vox. Down in Finkton, there's a gunsmith who can supply weapons to our cause. Get our guns from him, and you shall have your ship back. <laughs> Squad came and took him. You ain't gonna see him around no more. Squad came and took him. You ain't gonna see him around no more. trouble because I'm more than happy to be of service.
here, Snipe. You wanna know what we do to pretty little stowaways? Or maybe you don't. Hey! Just stop for Stay a away minute! From me. Stay away! I just want to talk to you! Elizabeth! Get away from Just me. hold up for a minute! Stay away! I'm not angry with you! Hey, watch out! Move it! Move! Stay back! God damn it! I am not going with you! Don't go in there! I have no need of one such it's as her. you! Go no, no, no! No! Let me go! We got her! There's gotta be another way.
Elizabeth, wait! Slipping. Do not attempt to follow me, Mr. DeWitt. Elizabeth, I've made an arrangement to get our airship back. You can get us out of here. Yes, I just need to supply enough weapons to arm an entire uprising. And where will we get these weapons? From one of our many friends and allies? A gunsmith in Finkton should be a walk in the park. What do you say, partners? You're a liar, Mr. DeWitt. And a thug. But you're also my only means of reaching Paris. Don't get too comfortable with my company, Mr. DeWitt. You are a mean swimmer. Now, if somebody no comes along and tells you that you are getting the short end of the stick, it, do you know what they're really saying? <laughs> they're saying, friend, what you do doesn't matter. Friend, you're being taken for... Now, Mr. Fink's a good man. You work hard, and I know what you well, here's what you tell those stuffed shirts. You say... Gunsmith? Who sent you to find this person? Daisy Fitzroy. She's either a great hero or the worst of scoundrels, depending on who's doing the telling. She's good for an airship. I don't care if she's the Queen of Holland. Let's look for another way in. Can you unlock this? Fake Industries is not recruiting at this time. Please come again. Over there, a service elevator. And get ourselves killed in the bargain. Who's 
there. What is a life compared to a fate? Take it. Got it. to the outlaw Daisy Fitzroy. Looks like our guy's drawn attention. That's not good, is it? No. All yours. Locked. Elizabeth? Looks simple enough. Slate's locker. He must have worked here. This is my mother's diary. Why would Slate have it? My husband claims the child was created from whole cloth by divine will. I am a believer, but I am not a fool. His bastard shall not be raised under this roof. My mother. She had me locked in that tower. Elizabeth. I just want to get out of this city. Please. Greetings. My name is Jeremiah Fick, and I want to share with you my personal creed. What is the most admirable creature on God's green earth? 
Why, it's the bee. Have you ever seen a bee on vacation? Have you ever seen a bee take a sick day? Well, my friends, the answer is no. So I say, be the bee. Be the bee. Hello? Mr. DeWitt? Uh, yes. Hold for Mr. Fink, please. What's going on? DeWitt, Fink here. Listen, my boy, we've had our eye on you, and I can tell you right now that you are our top candidate. Top! <laughs> now, uh, my associate, Mr. Flambeau, will help you with anything you need. <laughs> what the hell was that? I have no idea. He seems oddly pleased to make your acquaintance. Got an ego. find a variety of supplies here that should see you through your visit. What does Mr. Fink want with us? Excuse me, miss, but Mr. Fink's interest is strictly in the gentleman. But why... So sorry, young miss, but any questions regarding the gentleman's application should be taken up with Mr. Fink directly. Does this strike you as good news? Doesn't strike me as good news. Here what do you think? Head to the gunsmith or scavenge supplies by that clock shop? Fitzroy and her anarchist cronies want for you? <laughs> uh, strike, they say. Uh, throw down your tools, they say. Why, I tell you, the moment you do, you will... ...see what those hyenas are made of. I ask you, where are they going to be when it's cold outside and your boy's got the mumps and you've got nothing on your table but regret? Don't you see what the Vox Populi are selling? They're selling dreams. And dreams, my friend, uh, they don't come cheap. Book? Yes. Looks like everything's been found at the Good Time Club. Maybe that's where we'll find it. Born death. <laughs> 
doesn't look like we can enter now. song before. I don't suspect anyone's heard that song. Elizabeth! There! Appreciate it. Scott Mabuda. Who? The founder of Buddhism. Spent 49 days under a Bodhi tree until he achieved enlightenment. Hello? Hello? Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Is anybody here? What happened? Someone worked this place over. Local constabulary, no doubt. Did you hear that? There's someone downstairs. <laughs> 
Excuse me. Man, I'm sorry to bother you. I... We're looking for Mr. Lin. Mr. Chen Lin. Booker. Mr. Lin, not here. He... gone. Gone? They take... flying squad. I pray, Gautama Buddha. Pray, give husband back. Give back to Mei Lin. Where did they take him? Club. Everyone take to good time club. Where is this club? <laughs> Ma'am, please, where, where is this club? Booker, we'll find it. Just leave her be. Why not Vox Bully help Chen Lin? Why not Daisy Fitzroy help Chen Lin? <laughs> Cops. The kind who probably got their boot on Lin's throat asking him how well he knows Daisy Fitzroy. Isn't she the one we're working for? As a matter of fact, it is. All right, now let's figure out where this good time club is. care for you, Mr. Twit. I must admit, you know your way around a brawl. There it is, Mr. Twit. We just need to head inside and find Mr. Lin. Chen Lin and get the hell out of here. Now, now, all I ask is that you finish what you started to it. Wouldn't want to disappoint the other applicants. Our first candidate is a veteran of Peking. King. Ah! Huh! Huh! Ah! 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 Ah!
young go-getter is a former devotee of Lady Comstock. But without the old gal, they don't know quite what to do with themselves. Think We're this one of the highlights for a song. Lady interested in your job, Fink. Now, now, I know all about your little job for Fitzroy. But do you really want to take her offer over mine? Do you know how many people would kill to be head of Fink security? <laughs> You're a tough nut to crack, Mr. DeWitt. A tough nut. <laughs> but I promise you this. I will get what I want. There's a door over here. I think that's the way down. You're a modern woman. It'll be 2012 before I'm interested in one like you. Repel the invader! Pin him down! The twister! Take a look at this lock. <sighs> Child's play. I used to work for folks like Fink. Really? Yeah, I was with the Pinkertons. They call us in when the workers got restless. To do what? Demonstrate the folly of men striking, throwing down tools. You hurt people. I'll tell you this. Sometimes there's precious need for folks like Fitzroy. Why? Because of folks like me. 
It's done. Get Hey! That's it. That's the book for the clock shop. Fitzroy, you goddamn gook. We know you can hear us. You want to say something? We want us to bring in Mrs. Lynn for company. Uh, throw a bucket of ice water on you. Smell? Got three more. Yeah, no privies down here. I treat them like animals. Help with this. That won't take but a minute. This is it, isn't it? Yep. Number nine. What could people have done to deserve to be locked up in a place like this? Fink don't need much of a reason. No. No, he doesn't. Do it? You're a liar. But you can't blame me for looking after my own interests, can you? Now I know Fitzroy has come calling, but I think you'll find your business with her has come to an end. <laughs> lions walk with lions, DeWitt, not hyenas. Now we need to find someone else to make those guns. No. Dead is dead, Elizabeth. Dead is dead. What? Where the hell did... I see heads. And I see tails. It's all a matter of perspective. Why are you following us? Who sent you? Comstock? What do you want? What do you see here, from this angle? Dead. Listen. And that angle? Alive. Walker. Chen Lin. The body's gone. It was never here. It's another Columbia. A different Columbia. The same coin. A different perspective. Heads. Tails. Dead. Alive. We have to go through to this other Columbia, but how? It's like riding a bicycle. One never really forgets. One just needs the courage to climb aboard. If we go into this tear, I don't think I'll be able to bring us back. Are you sure you're ready? Okay, open it. Look, there's no blood. And no body. It's another world, Booker. Another Columbia. Something tells me one dead gunsmith ain't the only thing that's changed. Nice. A slate. He looks... You were right. Sparing him was no mercy. Come on, you piece of horseshit. Tell me about Daisy. Cut it loose. 
what? Scarfield says cut him I don't understand how Chen Lin is alive now. We're in a world where he was never murdered. Somewhere we'll find out why, I suppose. I don't suspect you can change something like that and have everything else remain the same. Money? Elizabeth?
found some money. Want it? Here. Appreciate it. Thanks. Anything? Huh? No machines. No tools. Let's go find that gunsmith. Maybe he's upstairs now. Booker, look. The shrine. It's a figure of Comstock now. Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Excuse me, Chen Lin? Who are you? You speak up! Speak up! Can't hear you over all these machines! Very loud! I'm Booker DeWitt. Stand back! These machines very dangerous. Wait downstairs with Mrs. Lin. Uh, Daisy Fitzroy sent us. We need to talk to you about getting some weapons. Machines very dangerous. No place for stupid people. 
Want to lose pretty head? Mr. Lin, if... Downstairs. What is wrong with him? Remember him dead in that cell? Maybe in, in some way he remembers that too. How would you reconcile that? I don't know. Husband? Calm his troubled thoughts. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for Mrs. Lin. I'm uh, Mrs. Lin? No, I, I mean a little Chinese lady. She was... Booker, this is Mrs. Lin. They took Chen's tools. What's he got without his tools? Well, your husband is a bit out of sorts. If he could work again, maybe... If, if he could work, he'd... Mrs. Lin. Can you tell me who took your husband's tools? Goddamn police. They took them and locked them up in the impound in Shantytown. She... Would having his tools back fix his mind? Who cares? We're not getting any guns if Chen Lin doesn't have his tools. Did you notice? Lin had a bloody nose. Seems to be in style. This Tara. I'm not so sure it was a good idea. Lately, I've been hearing a whole mess of funny new ideas. Paid vacation. Such a mystery to me as anyone else. Maybe Songbird knows, but he's not talking. <laughs> I'm sorry. What for? I get to wear this stylish thimble to cover up my hideous deformity. I hear they're all the rage in Paris. Bigger, a tonic. Binks formula wonder. Primal.
want to hold on to this? Open it. All right. You must think me some sort of freak. A girl who can bring dead men back to life. Whose only acquaintance is a, a giant bird creature. I must seem ridiculous. You just got dealt a bad hand. I am not going back to that tower no matter what happens. They won't stop until they have you. Why? What did I do to them? You frightened them. Good. This is what they want, brothers. To keep you so hungry, you can't speak what to me. To keep you so ignorant, you can't think of solutions. To people all are like this because of Fink? To keep you chasing at all Maybe Daisy's right. Eagle, so Maybe she should pay him back for all of this. Not before she pays us. We're here for guns and then the airship. Back it up, Skell. Another way coming. I guess we could head straight for the police station. Or see what's in that bar. What do you think? Come on, come on! Hurry up! Hit it! There's a tear over there. Hit it harder! Barely make it a goddamn. Go ahead. You bet. <gasps> People are treated like men, and others like animals. There's plenty of places down below where you'll find more of the same. Like at Wounded Knee? Yeah, like at Wounded Knee. 